Hey guys, today is International Dot Day. Can you believe it? We're gonna do some really cool things with this great book, The Dot. Now, I know you just listened to the story. So if you haven't heard the story yet, don't watch my video, this one right now, go back and watch the story first. But if you've watched, this, if you've watched the video, then you are ready for today. I got my copy here of The Dot also. All right, today we're going to do two cool things with this book. We are going to talk about the author's message. I put, I can determine the author's message. And we're going to describe how Vashti's feelings and attitude change throughout the story. So those are the two things we're going to talk about today with the book. And then we're going to do a really cool activity because Dot Day, we are celebrating creativity, courage, and collaboration. So we're going to get to work together on something really cool. The, the model for today is express yourself. So that's where you get to show your ideas and your creativity. Okay, let's talk about the story for a minute. All right, so here is my book, The Dot. And I noticed in the beginning that Vashti, you can just look at that illustration. Vashti's not, Vashti's not really very happy, is she? In fact, to me, when I saw that picture, before I even read, I thought, oh, this child is frustrated. Something's not working out for her, and she looks frustrated. All right. But then her teacher comes over and tries to encourage her. But you can still see Vashti's face. She just still looks kind of angry, mad, frustrated. So that's kind of like how she's feeling in the beginning of the story. But you'll notice her teacher keeps on encouraging her anyway. Her teacher says, you're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. But all Vashti did was just one dot on her paper. That's okay. Because her teacher said, okay, now sign it. And she did. But the next day when she came into school, her teacher was proud of her work. It may not look like much. It looks just like a dot. But do you see that her teacher was proud of her because she tried? She right? She was she was persistent. She didn't give up. She was resilient. And that right there, I think, is what gives Vashti some confidence. And so Vashti thinks, hmm, I can do better than that. And that's when she starts to change her attitude. And that's when she starts to really try and she thinks, okay. Let's see what else I can do. And that's when she starts to get out some of the new materials. And that's when she really starts making stuff. And throughout the story now, she keeps making more and more stuff and it's getting better and better because her confidence is growing. And then she gets to show off her work. And then this is probably the neatest part of the story. Do you remember this part? It's kind of when Vashti becomes like her teacher and starts encouraging someone else to try. And the same, he does the same thing. And then remember, she tells him to sign it. And so it, this book is so cool because Vashti doesn't think she can do it on her own, but her teacher encourages her, don't give up, just do a little something and just try. And then look how far it takes her. I wore my Dot Day shirt today. Let me show it to you. And it says, make your mark and see where it takes you. Because that's what we're going to do all year. We're just going to try a little and see where it takes us. So if I can flip back now to, let me get back to my slide. And let's go over to this one and I've got to make it be let's see here got to get back to my slide mm -mm, mm -mm. there I am okay and so we talked about Foschi's feelings and attitude changing 
What do you think the author, the author, Peter H. Reynolds, is trying to tell us? There's a message here. What do you think that author is trying to tell us? Hmm. I bet you know that we should be like Vashti, that we shouldn't give up, that we should keep, keep trying. We should have courage to express ourselves. And that's what you're going to get to do today. So let me show you what our project is going to be. You are going to, we're going to have a collaborative class project. Let me switch over to this one here. Okay. You are going to make a dot, any kind of dot. Last year, my students used, I think they used like a white coffee filter and maybe they used like some watercolors and we painted, but I don't even know if you have that at your house, but you can make a dot on anything. You could, I've seen some kids use like a paper plate. I've seen some kids just use a piece of paper and they just on a piece of paper did some colors and you can use anything you want. You could paint, you could color with marker. Let's see what all is that some of these kids have done. Some of those look like they colored with markers or crayons. Some kids look like they've painted. Look, this little kid here, he painted himself. Look at that. Look, this little girl here, it looks like she might have actually used some paper and some glue and cut out some things to put on her dot. You can do anything you want. This is yours. You get to be creative. Some people looks like they've done some confetti. You can do anything. I thought about, um, see some of these that look like a mosaic. We have like some pasta in our cabinet. And I thought about getting some of those out and maybe gluing some of those on if I have glue. And then I could even maybe put some color. You'll think of something, even if my, one of my favorite things to do is to go out to the recycling bin because that stuff is leaving our house anyway. And I can cut all I want out of my recycling bin. And sometimes there's cereal boxes in there with bright colors. And I, those are great things to cut up to make like a collage or a mosaic or some piece of art. Um, there are so many options that you have here to make your dot. And it doesn't have to be a circle. There's no rules. You're just going to make something creative, express yourself and have the courage to do it. Okay. And then let me show you what you're going to do. Once you've got it all done and you're so proud of your finished creation, you're going to come over here and there is a Google slideshow, but I've got to talk to you about how to use this thing correctly. Okay. Hang on. Let me find how to record this tab. Okay, so it looks just like the slide that I was on with our learning targets, but this is what you're going to have to do. This is going to be like, you know, when we use Jamboard in morning meeting and we have to be very careful and be respectful of other people's work because every single one of you is going to have a chance to edit this, but we will not bother anybody else's slide. Everybody gets to put their own slide on here. So here's what you'll do. You'll go over here to see this little tiny black plus sign. You're going to push that. And now you are on your slide. This is the only slide that I want you to do any work on. Everybody else will have their own slide. So right here at your title, I want you to type your name. First thing, I'm doing that to mine. So that way, anybody else that comes on this presentation, they see that's my slide. Please don't bother my slide. You are not allowed to edit or change my slide. This one's mine. When you want one, you'll go over here to the plus sign and you'll make your own, see? And then that one will be your slide. And that's the one you'll edit on. But this one would belong to me, for example. And then what I'm going to do on my slide is I'm going to click in the box and I'm gonna, gonna go insert and I'm gonna go image and I'm gonna take a photo with the camera. And I am gonna take, let's pretend that this is what I made. This isn't anything that I made, but I'm just gonna show you. You're gonna go insert. You're gonna take your picture. You're gonna insert it. And there is my picture of my dot. Again, yours is actually gonna be one you created. I just wanted to show you how to do it. And then when we all get done, you'll be able to scroll through and see all of your classmates dots. That's the collaboration piece This is that's here. So you're gonna express yourself and you're gonna get a chance to see everybody else how they've expressed themselves. 
What a fun activity. Have fun today and happy International Thought Day, boys and girls. I'll see you later.